Marvin, your name? New York County, New York, your name? Hi, my name is Kylie. I'm an interpreter here at Natural Bridges State Beach. Um, I'm here to talk to you today about one of my favorite habitats that we have at Natural Bridges, uh, which is the wetland habitat. Now, the wetland habitat is a really special place for a lot of different animals, but specifically, it's a really amazing place for birds to be in, both birds that live there year round, as well as birds that just are here for a little bit on their migration path. Now, the wetland is really special. It's kind of like their house. How we have our houses where we have our kitchen where we cook food in, we have our bed where we sleep in and get rest at, we have nurseries for our kids if we have that to keep them safe and things. Uh, the wetlands are provide all of that for the birds. Uh, now there's two specific birds that I want to talk to you about um, that I absolutely love, the gray egret and the snowy egret. You can see both of them in this picture right here. Uh, we have the snowy egret on one side, it's the smaller bird. We have the great egret on the other side, which is the much bigger bird that we can see. Uh, they have a lot of similarities and they have a couple differences as well. Uh, some of the similarities they share is they both hunt the same way and they both eat the same types of food. So they really like fish that live in the water and different insects that live in the water and things like that. The way they hunt these animals is really cool, I think. And how they do it is they stand really still almost like this photograph that we're looking at, and they just don't move like statues for a long time. They'll slowly kind of move their eyes around to look for the things that they want to eat in the water, and once they've found that thing that they want to eat, they'll really quickly move their bill into the water to catch that animal. So that's one really cool way that they get their food. Another similar thing that they do is they both nest in similar areas. So they like to build their nests up in the trees. We can kind of see this in this picture here of a great egret in a tree. You can see in the bottom of this photograph uh, the birds that it has, the baby birds uh, that are hanging out in the nest. They really like to, ne to nest tall up in trees or in shrubs. Uh, these provide really protective habitats for them so that they're safe from predators that might want to get to the nest and things like that. So this is kind of like the nursery for the birds in this wetland area. Uh, you can also see this really beautiful feathers in, on this bird, uh, the really long plumes like this. And feathers are really special to birds only because birds are the only animals that have feathers. Uh, we can even look at one of the feathers that I have here. And this feather is really wispy. You can see even it's blowing really easily in the wind. And it's really soft. These feathers provide a lot of warmth for the birds and it also helps them fly. So kind of like how we put on a coat if we're cold outside, birds can't really do that. So they have all these feathers that help to keep them warm when it's pretty cool outside, like it is a little bit today. So that's another thing. So the wetland habitat is really special for these birds in all those ways. It's like the kitchen for them where they can eat their food. It's a place for them to rest, like how we rest in our beds at home. And it's a place for them where they can raise their young. So it's a really great habitat to see these birds in. We can go back to the differences of them. And in this photograph you can see those are all the different similarities. Now there's a couple differences between these birds. You can see in this photograph that they're both white, but they have a couple other differences as well. The snowy egret is a lot smaller like we talked about, and the great egret is a bit bigger. You can see the great egret, its bill, uh, the bigger bird, has a yellow bill that's pretty sharp. And the smaller bird, the snowy egret, has a black bill. That's one way that you can tell these birds apart if you're out in a wetland looking at them. Another way you can tell these birds apart is by looking at their feet. Now the snowy egret has bright yellow feet, whereas the great egret has black feet. One way that I learned to help me remember that, that someone taught me, is the snowy egret has yellow feet because it stepped in yellow snow. Which is a little bit funny, but it's helped me to remember how to tell these birds apart. So that's some differences between these birds uh, that will help you to identify them if you see some on the beach or in the wetland like we've been talking about. Now, I'm really happy I could share these birds with you today and how special the wetland is to them because I love these birds a lot. Um, yeah, and it was really great talking to you. Thank you.